I think we actually like properly met and talked last year in November, yeah. and like we uh, we vibed and and we were like you know hopefully the universe will bring us together. Yeah. Tara is being a, <laughs> she's being what's the word? She's being. My name is Sarah Hassan. I play the role of Nina in the new telenovela Zari that is premiering on the 23rd of October. My name is Brenda Wairimu and I play the role of Lola in the new telenovela Zari premiering on 23rd October. So there's this beef between Kenya and Tanzania about entertainment and everything. First of all, do you watch Tanzanian shows? I think Tanzanians are great actors. I think anyone who speaks Swahili well is a really good actor. Yeah. So I think for us, we are open to collaborating more than the competition. Competition is always good because it makes it makes things better, but collaboration comes first. Mm. So from watching this new show, Zare, what are you hoping the message would be mostly for Kenyans? As in from the show, from the show, and from your character. Is there anything you're hoping the Kenyans would learn or see in any way? Oh, I can't really delve into that without spoiling. spoiling. Um, but I would say it's a fantastic story. It has great characters, it has a great cast. I'm, I'm, I'm proud and, and humbled to be acting alongside such amazing people who are not only great actors but great human beings as well. Um, Jiffy have made sure the story is fantastic. Like if you miss an episode, <laughs> ah, Yamani, hey, when you come the next episode, you're like, ah, what mm. happened? So yeah, so it's 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 really dope. Right, um, how was it working with Rashid? Um, this is my second time working with Jiffy Pictures. Um, the first one was Zora. So they they are fantastic employers. They're fantastic storytellers, and it's always a pleasure working with people who love storytelling the way they do. Yeah. Um, and how was it working with her as your sister in a way? <laughs> this is actually the first time Brenda Irimo and I are working together on a project. Yeah, like ever. <laughs> ever. Um, so it's been incredible. It's something that I think I think we actually like properly met and talked last year in November, yeah, yeah. and like we uh, we vibed and and we were like you know hopefully the universe will bring us together. Yeah, Tara is being. A, <laughs> She's being, what's the word? She's being humble about it. Let me tell you what happened. We met in November in South Africa. So we didn't, we didn't hang out in Kenya for all these years. We hung out in South Africa, right? So there was an event happening there. And then uh, shortly after, it was my birthday. And woo! Yeah, birthday. Woo! It was my birthday. And Sarah put up a post of the two of us together. And she talked about how we hadn't worked together before. Manifesting it and into the And then just like that, a few months later, here we are. Yeah. Mm. And yeah. how was the journey? Uh, which one, sorry? Yeah, going to together, to filming together, then you know, in South Africa, mm. coming back to mm. and then hanging you know, out again, and here you are again. It's been good. It has, yeah. 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 It's was it been... the trailer you're showing us when you were at East? Today? Mm -hmm. Today? Uh, no, some time back. Do you remember? I, I think I've shared you many. Like, ah, I don't you know which one. Trailer. Oh, trailer! Ah! Hey, your money. So, <laughs> oh, yeah, in South Africa, I did have a trailer. A trailer is a place where actors can get to relax by yeah. themselves. So it's kind of like, you see the back of a, of a lorry? It's like a container. Yeah. Yeah, so it's like a makeshift room, and you have, yeah, so I did have that. Um, I, I can't really compare the two. That was a one-time thing. It was a short film, so you can't expect that same level for something that you're doing every day. Uh, perhaps in the future, yeah, for sure, it's not impossible. <laughs> yeah. Uh, you are actually, you did uh, you are police officer. Yes, crime and justice. Uh, how does that like compare doing the same thing now in a different way? Do you think you being a police officer, crime and It's time? it's not. <laughs> wow. <laughs> It's not, I wouldn't say it's the same thing, so different characters are like human beings, they're completely different from each other. So like McKenna had her own life, so for us as actors we, 
for, for me personally, it's good to sort of know the background of this character such that you make them a full human being. Where did they go grow up? Where did they go to primary, high school, university? If they did, did they not? How was that bringing? So for McKenna from Crime and Justice, is very different from Nina in Zari. So I would say it's not the same, but it's a, it's a pleasure getting to, to bring her to life. Yeah. yeah. And uh, with your experience in the film industry, maybe with these two films out now, maybe uh, wh how do you think, Ama, in what way will they impact the Kenyan film industry? You know, Emlet is always what Abel Mutua said. They have invested a lot in the Kenyan industry and in the Kenyan content, and these two are just testament to that. Um, so, yeah, so we are. I'm sure there's a lot more projects coming and it's great to see the Kenyan film industry growing the way it's growing. Yeah. yeah. And you've been uh, in the Kenyan film industry doing different roles from uh, Tanya with Chai to now doing uh, the role that you did on Zari. Maybe what have you been able to learn uh, coming up to where you are today? Uh, you've won different awards like the chart, MVCA. How, what have you learned so far from where you started to where you are right now? I would say um, invest in the characters that you're playing. I would say hard work goes a long way. I would say respect goes a long way. Um, respect not only for just just respect in general as a human being, your fellow cast members, for crew. Um, yeah, and, and consistency. Mm -hmm. um, yes, and just belief. Yeah, my last question. Um, you have a product production company called Alfajiri. Maybe what pushed you to uh, like having your own production company? Oh wow, I wanted to... I went to school to study film, so I wanted to be able to just do my own projects, even if it's a short film here, a movie there. Um, I just wanted to also be able to tell a few stories that I want to tell. Um, like basically that's it. <laughs> Yeah. Hey baby Brenda, uh, you also been in the industry for, for a while. I remember watching your sh different shows on NTV and uh, right now you are on this other film. Maybe uh, maybe what have you been able to learn? Because you mentioned you've been to South Africa. Uh, film is really working out for you. Maybe what uh, one thing you've been learning growing up to where you are today? <laughs> it's okay. Uh, what have I learned? I've learned to put faith in the universe as well as faith in myself as well because you have to believe that you're able to do these things so um, be very aware of how blessed you are to be able to do the things that you love to be able to be doing the thing that you love and don't take that for granted so always like she said invest in your characters invest in the thing that makes you marketable right so that's what I've learned yeah. mm -hmm. and lastly what are the others role you have? the hardest one it hasn't come yet <laughs> <laughs> so we should wait for it yeah it's coming <laughs> let me tell us something uh, small about it if you don't mind <laughs> no i don't know it yet i'm just saying when it comes uh -huh. bado the hard one hasn't come oh, the hardest oh, one hasn't oh, come oh, yet so i'm, I'm waiting okay. <laughs> yeah. thank you so much no thank you